The early morning launch did not stop huge crowds from gathering along the Space Coast several hours ahead of liftoff to witness history. Our Mark Lehman continues our live team coverage this morning. And Mark, it was so worth the wait for the thousands who were able to make the trip. They did not leave disappointed. Popular viewing sites like this one were packed with people. Now, there was some concern as NASA pushed back the launch by nearly an hour, but uh, it was well worth the wait for those who stuck it out to see the historic liftoff in person. It was nothing but excitement all along the coast as the Artemis 1 rocket roared into the early morning sky. It was pretty bright and it almost made me and mommy think that the sun was coming up. The fireball, large enough to show up on weather radar and loud enough to set off car alarms near the vehicle assembly building. Out at Spaceview Park, many were surprised the launch actually happened after so many delays. We were here for the first launch, so we're pretty excited that it launched. The spectacular view well worth the wait as some staked out spots more than 12 hours in advance. You see it on TV and then in real life, it really had that um, light, light up effect, like it really lit up the whole sky, so it was amazing. The sense of amazement lingering for families walking away with an experience they'll never forget and hope for what's to come. This is going to inspire a new generation and uh, you, you know I think we'll all be delighted when we look back in 10 or 20 years. And here's a live look at the now empty launch pad. And traffic was a big issue for a while out here, but police worked to help clear the crowds out. They also report uh, just a couple hours, uh, a couple of hours ago, that there were no major problems as everyone returned home. For now, reporting live in Titusville, Mark Lehman getting results. News six.